<laughs> the shadow who aids the forces of law and order is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. Years ago in the Orient, Cranston learned a strange and mysterious secret. The hypnotic power to cloud men's minds so they cannot see him. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the voice of the invisible shadow belongs. Today's story, The Black Abbot. How does this carbon look, Mike? Okay. Hey, what time is it? What? A little after midnight. You know, I don't like this much. Working in the church in the nighttime. It just don't seem right. Well, it's got to be done. The whole inside of this place has to be restored by the end of next month. Yeah, but I hate working nights to do it. I get a creepy feeling. It's so quiet in here. Huh. What are you expecting? Ghost? Nah. It's just... Hey, Joe. What's that? What? Somebody coming down the aisle of the church. Oh, stop it, will you? It's probably one of them. Look at him. He's all dressed in black. Like a monk. That's... <laughs> One of the ministers, I guess. He's coming right at us. That ain't no minister. Yeah, I, I guess it ain't. Look at that face. Hey, let's get away from here. Come on, come on. Gentlemen, gentlemen, silence, please. Thank you. We have called this special meeting of the Church Finance Committee at the specific request of Mr. Paul Randolph, the architect in charge of the reconstruction of our church. A problem has arisen which has considerably delayed his efforts. I'll let him tell you about it himself. Mr. Randolph, if you please. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, for the past week, the workmen who are restoring the ancient stone carvings in the interior of the church have positively refused to do any work. Any amount of coaxing has failed to change their minds. What is their reason for this attitude? Just this. They say that the church is haunted. Haunted? Oh, well, now, I'm merely repeating the facts that have been told to me. My workmen swear they have seen the black-robed figure of a monk stalking through the aisles of the church. Oh, this is ridiculous, Mr. Randolph. Have you yourself ever seen this, uh, this vision? No, I haven't. Good heavens, do you men realize the great harm that this can do the church? Yes, Fortunately, yes, gentlemen, we may still have time to dispel it. How? By several of us spending the night in the church and disproving once and for all this nonsense about a ghost. I will gladly be one of the volunteers in this experiment. Will anyone join me? I will, Philip. I will. Oh, yes, I will. Well, I, I think there need only be two of us. I'll, uh, I'll select Mr. Williams to accompany me. When will you visit the church, Mr. Phillips? Tonight, Randolph. We'll visit the church tonight. Come on, come on. Just 
Can't we go and get the others and then come back? Oh, we must investigate this now. Look! Coming down the aisle of the church. A black robe figure. The black abbot. He's coming toward us. I can't stand this, Philip. I can't stand it. Come back here, William. Come back here. No, no, I'm going. William! William! You have been left alone, John Philip. You. You can't fight me. Who are you? I am the true abbot of this church. Keep away from me. You have desecrated my church, John Philip. And by solitary, you must pay for your sin. No. No, keep away, I say. Hey. Hey, do you hear? No. No. <laughs> See the rector at once. Why, Mr. Williams? Yes, Mr. Miller, please. What's the trouble down there? It's me, Williams, Mr. Miller. Will you come down quickly, please? What happened, Williams? The abbot. The black abbot. We just saw him in the church. I, I came as fast as I could. No, no, calm yourself. Where is Mr. Phillips? He's still in the church. We must go to him at once. He's alone with the abbot. The bell is at the church. That's strange. Phillips must be ringing for help. We'll go to him at once. since the body of Phillips was found. About a month, Miss Lane. These three disappearances. Was there any clue as to where the men were last seen? Yes. In each case, they were somewhere in the vicinity of the church. I see. And how long have they been missing? Different periods, Mr. Cranston. The last one was less than a week ago. Lamont, do you suppose that they've met the same fate as Phillips? Do you suppose they met the Black Abbot? I don't know, Margot. So far, we've been able to keep the true facts of this mystery from the newspapers. But we can't do it much longer. I realize that. Mr. Cranston, the work of the church is at a standstill. And it will never be completed unless these disappearances and Philip's death are explained. You must help us. Please. Well, I don't know how much I can find out for you, Mr. Miller. I should be glad to do what I can. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now... If you want any further information or assistance, you can call on me at the rectory. Very well, I shall do that. Good day. Good day, Miss Lane. Goodbye, Mr. Miller. Goodbye. What do you make of all this, Lamont? I don't know yet, Margot. But there's only one way to find out. How? By spending a night in the church. There is a so-called black habit. I believe there's a way to deal with him. How? I can't tell you just now. You see, that will be a job for me as the shadow. Lamont, I don't think that the ghost will appear here in the church tonight. The evening isn't over yet, Margot. Not frightened, are you? No. No, Lamont. How do you account for so many people seeing what they believe to be a ghost? Well, imagination sometimes plays tricks on us. But in this case, I'm inclined to think that it's more than just that. What do you mean? I 
learned this afternoon that the stone figures that are being used for the reconstruction work here in the church were brought from the remains of an ancient abbey in Europe. Oh, I didn't know that. And there was a great legend attached to that ancient abbey. It concerned an abbot who centuries ago disgraced his church. It was forever after doomed to haunt the place. I see. Now, if someone were to have heard of the ancient curse, spread it among the workmen, and then actually allowed the apparition to be seen, the effect would be devastating. But why would anyone want to have the work on the church stop? Your guess is as good as mine, Margot. Well, whatever it is, I wonder why it hasn't bothered us tonight. Suppose we find that out, Margot, right now. Black Abbott. Black Abbott. If you are within sound of my voice, I defy you to show yourself. No one answers. I don't understand it. I felt certain that we would be visited if I was... Come on. That did it, Marco. He's coming. Where? We can't see him yet. It sounds as if he were descending the belfry stairs. What shall we do? Just follow my instructions. You remain seated where you are. I shall be right beside you. But as the shadow. Very well. Look. There he is. He sees me. He's coming toward us through the church. Who called for me? Speak up there. Where is the man who shouted my name? I warn you, your silence will bring destruction upon you. Where is he? Don't come any closer. Where is he, I say? Get away! Get away! <laughs> Stay where you are, Black Abbot. What? Who speaks? I am he who defies you to show yourself. Where are you? I can't see you. I am right here, beside you, in the shadows. Where? Where? Strange that a ghost should react in such a human fashion. What kind of sexy is this? Black Abbott, you're no supernatural being. You are a creature of blood and flesh, masquerading behind the ancient legend of the church. No, no. I accuse you of the murder of John Phillips and the disappearance of his companion. It's a lie. Unmask yourself, Abbott. Reveal your true identity. Look out, he's running away. Come back here. He went over there by the side of the church. Oh, he's disappeared. Listen to me, the both of you. Lamont, you must have gone through a secret pen. You have defiled and desecrated the Abbey. And by my word, you shall both die for it. Lamont, did you tell the rector about what happened last night in the church? No, Margot. I thought it best not to mention it to anyone for the present. One thing is certain after last evening's encounter, however. What's that? Our elusive Black Abbot proved himself to be a very human ghost. Yes. But who he is, and what his motive might be, still remains to be discovered. And how he got away. Yes. That's the first thing to find out. Well, here we are. Mm. We'll leave the car right here. Uh. Come along, Margot. It's altogether different in the daytime, doesn't it? Yes, quite. Oh, I believe this door is open. Yes, there it is. Shall we go in? Yes. What shall we examine first, Lamont? The belfry? No. I'd rather have a look at the wall. I have an idea that there's some secret doorway in the paneling through which the abbot made his getaway. That would be here, wouldn't it? Yes. I look down by the altar, so find anything suspicious, call me. Yes, I will, Lamont. This panel is solid. A false projection. Good afternoon. <gasps> oh! I'm oh, so sorry. Did I find you? Well, it's, it's quite all right. I just didn't hear you coming. Please accept my apology. I'm Paul Landolf, the architect in charge here. Oh, how do you do? I'm Margot Lane. Oh, Miss Lane. Oh, Lamont, will you come here? Yes, coming. Mr. Cranston, this is Mr. Randolph, the architect of the church. Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Randolph. Thank you. Uh, may I be of any assistance to you? Well, I don't suppose so. You see, we've just been testing our curiosity. Oh, how's that? Well, we'd heard 
something of the so-called ghost that's supposed to be here, and we believe that ghosts always use secret passageways and such, and we were just looking for one. Oh, I see. Uh, of course, this has all been done with the rector's permission. Uh, naturally. Well, Mr. Randolph, as architect, you no doubt have the original plans of this church, haven't you? Of course. Do you suppose they might indicate any secret passages? I have never noticed. Uh, but I'd be glad to have you look at them. Well, splendid. Well, you may see them tonight if you wish. I'll bring them to you. Thank you. Suppose we meet tonight. Here. In the church. Make yourself ready for the beauties of the death 
that is about to befall you. <laughs> but she isn't going to die, Black Abbot. You? Where are you? I am right here beside you. Unbind that girl. How did you get here? Just as you did. But the door, it's still locked. I came in with you. In the shadows. So that's who you are. The shadow. Yes. You're very clever, shadow. But not clever enough to out with me. We shall see. But first unbind that girl. No, no. She must die. She knows the abbot's prisoner. After tonight, everyone will know the abbot's secret. Paul Randolph. You are Paul Randolph. Yes. Yes, that's who I am. I don't care if you do know it. Because neither of you will ever live to tell it. You're wrong, Randolph. We both shall live. And you will be turned over to the police for the murders of the church committeemen. <laughs> and how do you propose to do that? You shall see. Why did you murder these men? Why? I'll tell you. Buried within these walls are many priceless relics. No one knows of them but me. And when I have disposed of all who stand in my way, they'll be mine. Mine, do you hear? And no one shall take them from me. That's why I killed those men. I hung Phillips as a warning to keep them away. But they were fools. I learned my secret. That's why you both must die, too. You heard his confession, Margot? Yes, yes. You'll never live to repeat it. They are divine. Drop that, Randolph. Oh, no. If you attempt to come near me, Shadow, I'll plunge us into a heart. No, you won't. Let go of my arm. Drop that knife. No, not let go of me. She must die. The knife is almost touching me. I am afraid I'll have to break your arm, Randolph. Heaven, you arrived in time. There's a knot under my shoulder. Yes, I've got it. Look! Huh? Randolph, come see. He's running for the door. Come back here, Randolph. You'll never get me. You'll never get me. Come quickly, Margot. He mustn't get away. There he is. He's running for the belfry. Don't try to escape, Randolph. You'll never do it. <laughs> Death of J- 
John Phillips should be repeated by fate for his murderer, the Black Abbot. Ha, 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 ha,